Hey guys, Luxy here. I'm still alive as you can see, but a few things have been going on recently. So number one, I got another new CPU. Yay! But this time, this is a major CPU upgrade. So basically, in servers with like 15 or 16 players, I always get above 60 frames per second. And that server just happens to have 15 to 16 players. Yeah, you guys will be a little surprised because this is a huge step up in my opinion. Just remember before I had a Ryzen 3 3200G. Now, if I come to CPU, Ryzen 5 5600X. Now, basically to sum this up, it's like two times more powerful. It has two more cores and more threads, basically. And the base clock is 3.7 gigahertz, so that's already crazy. So yeah, without any more talking, my intros are too long. Let's get straight into the drive. We'll be driving this Camry. So I actually capped, it won't always be 60 frames per second or it won't even be the most smoothest 60 frames per second. I'm actually getting like 52 right now just because everyone's in this area basically. But yeah, you should notice that the videos are smoother overall. Like it's a little stuttering here and there. That's an OBS issue because my game isn't lagging. I don't know what's happening, but I might have to switch to bandy cam or something because I don't know what's going on. Um, So far, it's so chill. I haven't really drove up and down the highway before I started recording. So I ducked the feds. Yep. What? The? Oh, sheesh. All right. We had a red light. This is one of the lights I'm surprised I don't lag at. Now, I gotta figure out something with this recording because I'm getting like 80 frames, yet it's laggy. It's kind of sus. These, oh, they crashed. I ain't wasting my gas. I actually need to get gas at some point, but not right now because that's half a tank. I can go down. That has to be FRP. What do you mean? Oh yeah, you're right. He didn't exchange with the pole. He got me there. But yeah, this is one of the most laggy areas. If you know you play Greenville, you would notice basically. Scenics is one of the most laggiest areas. But yeah, um, a few updates on some things. One thing I did not tell y'all. <laughs> it's kind of funny because that is gone now. Like the specific product. Basically, y'all probably remember my video with Will, right? Like those videos I made with Will. I had a Logitech G920. Not too long after that, I made a video. Oh, I got rid of my Will. Guess what? Ever since then, like five days after, you know, I got the money back for returning the Will, I ordered another Will. That was the Thrustmaster TMX. I didn't tell you guys about it because I didn't like how it felt on Greenville. And, you know, I was having fun on every game. America Truck Simulator, City Car Driving, um, Forza, Assetto Corsa. I was trying to learn drifting on Assetto. Car X Drifting. But today that I'm recording this video, I got rid of that wheel. And the reason for that? The Thrustmaster T300 RS went in stock. That's the wheel I always wanted because I just didn't like the G920. And the TMX basically didn't have enough self steer for me. So therefore, I went to return it. And the T300 RS is like a higher quality wheel over the G920 and the TMX combined. It has like very fast self steer. The force feedback from what everyone's saying is smooth and that's what I like because this one guy, I know he had the Thrustmaster TMX Pro, but he upgraded to the TX and he said the TMX feels stiff compared to that and that's what I like because the TMX didn't really feel that stiff to me but if you're saying that feels stiff compared to, you know, the better wheels then that says a lot. But yeah, let's check the frame rate, getting 44. It really depends on the direction you're driving. I bet if I turn it behind me, it might be a little better. But basically the videos never go under 30 frames per second. And that's all that really matters. I haven't gotten to a crash because great driver. And I didn't even realize I was going 69 miles per hour. I'm not gonna cap. That means getting hurt, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, 
I have a very good CPU for my GPU. Now I need to, you know, basically get a new GPU at this point because the only thing that's holding down this CPU is my graphics card. And my graphics card is the reason why, you know, I'm not always getting 60 frames. Say I had a 1650 Super or something similar to that, my frame rate would be through the roof. Oh shoot. Yeah, my frame rate would be through the roof, basically. But, um, we good with this. I mean, it did improve the video a bit. It's not as laggy. And, you know, server has about 18 players now. So this isn't bad, to be honest. I've been speeding this whole time. But yeah, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna probably end the video off here because, you know, stretching those videos to 10 minutes where I just talk is just not worth it. So yeah, I'm basically just saying I got a CPU upgrade, new wheels on the way. Not sure if I'm gonna use it on Greenville. And yeah, this has been Vuxery. And I am out. Oh,